So just about set. And stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. Leading off tonight the for Houston. The second baseman. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, but it's fair. Out of here. Jose Altuve will touch them all. His first homer of the year, it's 1-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. And now it's Alex Bregman. Bregman. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. And the righty deals. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Next offering upstairs. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. That one carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. Here's Jordan Alvarez. The left fielder, number 44. Jordan Alvarez. First pitch just misses. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Moore has a beat on it. And there's two down. Batting Here's goal. Kyle Tucker. The right fielder, number 30. Kyle Tucker. Next pitch is popped up. Torrens drifts towards it. And that is that. Astros off and running on the solo homer. It's now 1 0. We go to the. Back in Seattle, here's Guriel. Man, back to work. The first baseman, Yulieski. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Kelman makes the grab, one pitch and one out. Aledmus Diaz now. Aledmus Diaz. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. The next pitch misses, and the count is 1 and 1. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some boot, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally, we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? Ouch. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report, or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Lewis puts the squeeze on that one. Two away. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. The shortstop. Jeremy Pena. First pitch, and he just misses. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. And a pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back at you. And welcome back. On to the third inning. Stepping in, Martin Maldonado. The catcher, 
Martin. On the ground. Maldonado. Suarez handles the chance. Gathers and throws the first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now back. So the lineup flips over. We'll say Altuve up to it here. And first offering is fouled off. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And a count one and two. One and two now. Altuve waits. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And that one fouled off. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. The wide to kick the pitch. Got him. That's his second strikeout. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he the just couldn't hold up the swing. Two. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really Perfect. hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Bregman at the plate and takes high there. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. Astros go down one. Back here at the ballpark, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and lead set to lead off the fourth, Jordan Alvarez. Jordan. Swing, and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there, out of here. Jordan Alvarez blasts one out. Home run number five on the season, and they tack on to their lead. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time oh, in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, right and it paid off. Kyle. And here is Tucker. Kyle Tucker. And there's a foul ball. Side gets out of the way. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. And that one almost got him. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Puts it away for the out. On the mound now, Nick Margavichis. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he needed a little length out of this arm. Coming out of the bullpen, we'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. The hitter early and off balance on that swing. If I'm the pitcher, I'm taking a little bit more off. See if you can get him to chase something in the dirt. In the air to left, down the line. Kelman, as this one sized up, makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now back. Aledmis Diaz now. Aledmis Diaz. And first offering is fouled off. Mm -hmm. 
And a foul ball. Going two now. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo. Back in Seattle, we go to the top of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. The center fielder, Chaz McCormick. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Back-to-back -back singles, to me, is just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. McCormick at second, Pena out at first with nobody out. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, we can see him muscle up a little bit. He's trying to hit the ball a mile. Got to make sure that he stays within himself so that those mechanics can allow him to hit the ball a long way. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Kicks and deals. In the dirt. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Ripped on a line. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two down. Ball back in quickly. Runner holds it third. Now it's Alex Bregman. Third baseman, Alex Bregman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Corners are occupied with two down. Here's a rocket out to left. Kelman makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back at Timo. Mark Avichis back to work. Ripped on the ground a second. Gets it to first. And they get the out on Alvarez. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Kyle Tucker. Good contact guy, good defender. Popped up. Frazier settles under this one. Puts it away for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Yuli Gurriel up next for the Astros. Gurriel. Hard hit to third, and that one finds its way through. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. And first offering is fouled off. That's to third. Suarez picks it up, sends it to first. That ends the frame. Top of the order due up in the home half of the six. It's the Astros two and the Mets. And three. Welcome back. Top of inning. Leading off from Houston, the center fielder, Jazz. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Looks like he went up there guessing on the first pitch and was going to sell out to it. Didn't make any contact, though. And here it comes. Strike two. Two really good back to back sliders. Now in an 0 2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Now Jeremy Pena up next shot. for the Astros. Jeremy Pena. Oh. 
base hit center field. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No oh, messing around right there. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Maldonado at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. 0 oh, and 2 as he waves at that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. Mark Abichus picks over and he's back standing. Here comes a pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it and. There's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Line drive. Kelman pulls that one down, and there's two away. The third baseman, number two, Alex Bregman. Here's Alex Bregman. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Kelman. Racing over to make the catch. Two left for the Astros. But they hold it. Back here at the ballpark. Here's the. So they turn to the lefty in this spot. Anthony Misevich. He last pitched four days ago. So he should feel pretty fresh. Alvarez. Swings through that one to lead off the inning. Next offering misses, and it's a ball and a strike. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. And it is two and one. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. And he handles it himself for the out. Here's so Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. First offering misses the mark. Lace down the line. Base hit right for you. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. 110 miles per hour, and man, that exit velocity. Not every hitter is capable of. Swing and a ball hammered left field, and that one's gone. Yuli Guriel bops one out of here, and they add on. It's 4 nothing. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The now challenge, bad. not get over anxious hitter. and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Diaz in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Kelman right there to make the grab. And there's two down. Now so next up for Houston, Chaz McCormick. Chaz McCormick. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Next to hit, Jeremy Pena. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. McCormick, the runner at first with two gone. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. The 0-2. That one fouled off.
and the 0-2. Good eye in that spot. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. The pitch. Popped up. Crawford makes the catch, and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this. Out of the bottom of the... Basically. So RBI now spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get... We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pick. Leading off for the after. The catcher, Martin. The pitch. Maldonado. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Suarez under this one. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting. The second baseman. Jose Altuve. Altuve in the box with one away as he takes one there for ball. The next offering misses. Ball two. One down, base is empty. Uh. And there's a ball. <laughs> that one down the line, and it goes just foul. 3-2 on the way. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. and two. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't the offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Bregman comes up empty with a swing there. Batting here with one away. Righty to the plate. Love Three. how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And yeah, the right hander deals. And one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Kelman under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Now that the left field, Jordan Alvarez. In the dirt. He's in there. Two outs and one in scoring position. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. Left hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. And that's the third out. Bottom. I mean, these guys know they have to get going go? out of the, the gates, Mariners. but. You're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families. And that can lead to success on the field, as we saw in this game today.